Piff the Magic Dragon. The winner of America's Got Talent Season 10 is Piff the Magic Dragon. Piff. Piff. Well. You were saying about the finals? Oh, yeah, the finals. It's time to fight for every vote in America. Come on, Piffles, let's go and fight. We're going to go and fight for the votes. All right, let's vote for Piff, everyone. Let's vote Piff. Let's vote Piff. I'm so close to my dream. Hello, New Yorkers. Photos are $8. OK, she's walked away. Brutal. Let me tell you, people are getting behind me. Kissing babies, helping ladies. I'm doing everything I can to win that public vote. Would you like to vote for a magic dragon? Oh. OK, that did not work. It's vote for Piff. Who would have thought America would fall in love with a grumpy little magic dragon? <laughs> i got to get this campaign off the ground. Right. I am not leaving tonight without $8. Howie, $8. Come on. Come on. You've been teasing me all season. $8. I don't know that I And I want your name on it. That's it. I want your name. That's it. What you got? I have a 20. A 20. A 20. That's $8 after tax. Just, just write your name on it. That's it. Come on. <laughs> write your name on it. That's going to bump it up on eBay. Lovely. <laughs> Perfect. We're going to do a little magic trick with Howie's money. A very special magic trick. Watch. If we take it, we fold it in half. Right. In half. <laughs> Hopefully, it should start changing. <laughs> with some little blows from a mere $20. And to look at this, Howie, a genuine, a genuine <laughs> voucher for one free magic trick from me to you. And to perform Howie's magic trick, please welcome little Mr. Piffles to the stage. Come on, let's get Mr. Piffles out here. Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Piffles. Now, if Mr. Piffles performs how his magic trick correctly, he's going to win back his most treasured possession. Heidi, this is for you. That's it. Maybe you'd like to give uh, Mr. Piffles a little good luck charm. Do you have a ring I can have? That's it, a ring. Just one of those rings. That's yep. it. Take it off. Yep, very nice. There you go. Lovely. Very good. Okay, the good luck charm of Heidi. Ooh, real gold. All right. I'm going to clip this on to Mr. Piffles. It's giving Mr. Pibbles a little bit of good luck. It's quite a complicated ring, but we'll just clip it on just there. There we go. Now Mr. Pibbles has the luck of Heidi. Mr. Piffles, what magic trick would you like to perform tonight? Tonight, Heidi, he says he'd like to go out with a bang. Well, who am I to stand in the way of a dog in his dreams? Let's bring out the bang. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Mr. Pibbles' favorite trick in the world. The world's first Chihuahua Cannonball Catch. Oh, who's a brave little soldier? Don't worry, Heidi. Don't worry. It's perfectly safe. He's done this literally thousands of times because he's not a regular chihuahua. He's a magic performing chihuahua. Don't try this at home with a regular chihuahua. That would be a terrible idea. Here's what's going to happen. Mr. <laughs> Piffles will be shot out of this cannon. He's going to hurtle across the stage. He's going to ricochet off the trampoline of happiness. He's going to perform three <laughs> somersaults before landing back the American way in the baseball glove of love. Oh, here we go. All right, let's set up for this. Positions, everyone. Three, two, one. Fire! Can we, can we cut to commercial? Well, no, we can't. Oh, this is going to be awkward. Oh, he's totally okay, Heidi. He's just a little bit concussed. Come on, Mr. Piffles, come on. Come on, walk it off, walk it off. Come oh, there we go, he's totally fine. <laughs> All right, Heidi, he's gonna do three somersaults, he's gonna land in my arms, you guys are gonna go crazy. Here we go, Mr. Piffles. One, two, three, hop. Oh, my goodness. He's drunk. <laughs> Can you believe this? This is unbelievable on live television. You know what, Heidi? Nobody loves a drunk chihuahua, do they? Come on, Mr. Piffles, come on. Come on, come on. Who's a good little boy? Heidi, please don't worry, though, because it is, after all, 
Just a magic trick. He's totally OK. Oh. He's not really drunk, Heidi. He wouldn't drink on a show night. And look, Heidi, he even has a very familiar ring to him. Heidi, is that your ring? That is my ring. It is your ring, Mr. Piffles. Hi, Mr. Piffles. However, ladies and gentlemen, however, let's not get too excited here. Mr. Pivels did not perform the world's first cannibal catch as he was supposed to. So, Heidi, we must sacrifice the most treasured possessions. I'm going to take Mr. Pivels, open up the bag. We're going to pass this to Mo. Open up the bag, tip the contents into your hands. The contents into your hands. Lovely. And show everyone what they are. Oh, Mr. Pivels is nuts. Oh. <laughs> Lovely, Mr. Pivels. Do you remember those, Mr. Pivels? That was a dark day at the vets, wasn't it? Heidi, big one or the small one? Well, who doesn't like a big nut? I take oh the big one. God. <laughs> I'm on the same page as you, Heidi. Watch very closely. Inside the walnut, $20 that somebody has what? to face. <laughs> oh, Harry! I'm going to take that. My name's Piff the Magic Dragon. Have a great night. Good night. Piff the Magic Dragon? All type of amazing magic on the stage from Piff. We don't know how you did it, but that was awesome, man. Mel B, you're holding Mr. Pimples. What'd you think? I just cracked the small nut, and there was really a nut in the small nut. I could have just picked the small nut. You could have done. I'm just saying. But it's pretty good. Well, it's very good. Let me just ask you a question. Has Mr. Piffles been to the bathroom yet? Because uh, Yeah, I last want... Tuesday. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a week between breaks. You know, I, I have to say, you have a dry sense of humor. It's silly. It doesn't make sense in the beginning, but then it all comes together. You're not even listening to me. At the end, this is what I love about you. You're just silly and funny. Look, look at him. <laughs> well never done. Put, <laughs> never put a donut in your back pocket. Life lesson learned. <laughs> I enjoyed it. <laughs> Judge Howard Stern. I love Piff. I've loved Piff all along. I, I, as a closer in the, you know, the finale to win the million dollars, I don't know that you but put your best foot forward tonight. You've done stronger acts. I, I, I truly believe. Some, some, at some points I got a bit confused, honestly. I, I, I had trouble following the action. But uh, look, you've been consistently great. You're always fun to see and people look forward to you. And I congratulate you on, on your effort tonight. Mr. Mandel, you look like you're deep in thought. Well, I'm, I'm deep in debt. He took my $20. But no, it's mine, you made it you legally, made, mine. You made it disappear, you made it reappear, yeah. and then you took it away again. But you know, <laughs> I believe that tonight is going to be a night of comedy. I believe that the million dollars is going to end up with somebody funny. I believe that's where all the competition is. So you got a tough night that was very funny. It was good magic, but you're against Gary, you're against Drew, you're against Paul. There's a lot of people, only one could win. It's gonna be a really tough night. Yes, it is. The competition is high. Heidi Mandel. Heidi Mandel. Heidi, what do you want to say? <laughs> That's weird. Well, who would have thought that a sarcastic English bloke in a dragon costume um, would magic win? Dragon would win America's heart, you know, in a magical way. You really did. We love you, we love Mr. Piffles, and we love his nuts. Wow. <laughs> Piff, I don't know what to say, man. You, you always eating something, you got Chinese food on me one day, you eating donuts, getting crumbs all over my shoes. It's, how important is this competition to you? It's so important, I'm willing to give you half this donut if it helps me in any way. <laughs> Thanks, good luck tonight. <laughs> can't magic his way to a million dollars. He needs you, America, and you have to vote if you want your favorite to win.